can't believe it. Oh my it. gosh, she has teeth or something in there. Are you talking to me? Are you talking to me? I'm not scared of you. Don't be scared to cast a bait caster reel. There's nothing to it. And I'll show you how it's done. Let's go. Welcome to BTR Outdoors. And on today's episode, we're gonna talk about how to cast a bait caster reel. I know what a lot of people are going to say. I don't like them because they backlash. Yeah, they do. Um, happens to everybody. Happens to me. Happens to anybody who uses a baitcaster reel. But I'm going to show you some tips how to prevent that um, from happening as often. And once you learn how to use it, man, it makes life so much easier, especially with accuracy in casting. Um, a good all around reel for any kind of fishing that you're going to do. Um, you're going to love it. You can be able to cast further, um, cast more accurate. Um, like I said, you're going to love it. So let's get going. All right, we're going to talk about how to cast a bait caster rod or reel. Okay, you got your handle. This is the drag. That's when you're um, catching the fish. If you let it pull off a little bit of line so it don't um, break your line. So that controls that. This um, controls your um, lure. So every time you change the lure, you need to adjust this. And you want it just to drop just real steady and slow, kind of like that. Hope you can see that. But that's how you adjust it right there. Okay, this is the spool. Push this button, and this puts your uh, spool in free wheel. And this is the brake, which you can uh, set to um, adjust the spool speed. You can also use your thumb. As soon as you cast it, you can just touch it and slow it down or leave it alone until you want it to drop. So you can make this real accurate casting. We'll give a demonstration. All bait casters have this. And if we're looking at this, um, every time you change the lure, you need to adjust that. And you want it just to fall real graceful. Let's see if we can catch that again. Uh, let's see if you do it too much, it won't fall at all. If you adjust it, there you go. Okay, the brake, you can turn that and that um, is the brake for your spool. And you can use your thumb. And that keeps it from backlashing if you have everything set right. So let's take a look. See, right when you want it to stop and drop in the water, you can just press down on your thumb. Makes for very accurate casting. Drop it, Poop. right where you want it. But I was lucky, my dad taught me very early how to use these. And you can be dead, deadly accurate where you want to cast it. If you don't get it tangled up. Most people don't like them because they, they can backlash and that happens every once in a while, but this is part of it. But it's well worth it to learn how to use one of these. When 
and everything works right, you can cast wherever you want to. If you want to cast in between two tree branches on the bank or in some grass, in a little free spot, makes it very easy to do. So learn how to use these bait casters. They're a lot of fun. They're very strong, versatile reel. You can catch any kind of fish with them. Put different lines on them. You can get some really distance on your cast. That's a big old bass or a sand bass hit this. All right. What's the lure? That's about perfect. That's how you want it. All right, let's wanna go over the uh, different parts again one more time. This is gonna be your handle. This is your star drag system. And when that is, you can turn it or loosen it. What that does is when you catch a fish and the fish is pulling, it pulls out a little bit of line. Um, <clears throat> that's to keep you from breaking your line. And um, so you can always set that, if it's pulling out too fast, you can tighten it or loosen it. This is your spool tension knob. Um, like I showed in the video, every time you change a lure, um, all lures are different. Um, different weights and stuff like that. So you can really um, adjust your uh, lure. Um, and what that will do is keep this, uh, the, the spool from uh, peeling off too fast. Then you have your brake system. If you turn it all the way to the max, that puts more pressure on the brake. Put it towards the minus, um, that gives you less pressure. And what that does is kind of fine tunes your lure selection so you can cast it further and be more accurate. Like I said, this is a spool. I don't know if you can see this or not. That's your line guard, or line guide. And that moves back and forth and to put the line back on the spool when you're reeling it up. So like I said, these are not real diff difficult. So that's all the different parts to a baitcaster reel. Um, it's really simple, has a lot of options to fine tune it, um, to really throw your lure accurate and uh, get some pretty good distance on it too. So don't be afraid, get you one and go out there and start using it. Um, yeah, or you don't have some backlashes. Oh yeah, I've had them. So, uh, like I said, the big thing is just get it, have fun, get comfortable with it, and I promise you, you will love it. All right, I wanna thank you for watching BTR Outdoors. Uh, hit that subscribe button, that helps out our channel a lot. Um, we're growing, we're up to 230 something uh, subscribers. Uh, leave comments about almost every day answering questions and I love it. Hit that like button and uh, I'm trying to get my Facebook, my Instagram, I think that's how I say it, I'm just, I'm new to Instagram, um, up and running so you can uh, follow us on our reviews and our adventures um, with some pictures and stuff like that. Uh, but just thanks for watching the videos and we'll see you next time. Let's go Ronnie.